Alright, I saw on YouTube a lot of people with the homebrew don't know how to use this Nestor DS. So I'm going to show you all real quick. Alright, right here, I got my file, Max Media, got all my stuff in it, all my homebrew. Uh, here's my file for the Nestor DS. Click that. What you really want to look at, you want to look at this guy right here. That's going to actually do your insertion. Then you got this file right here. That's what you're going to need to uh, just basically put it into. What you want to do is you want to open this up. It's going to ask me to run it. I'm going to say, yeah, run it. Then right here, where it says location of the Nestor DS ROM, hit the browse. And what you're going to want to look for, you're going to want to look for this file right here. So, go to that. It's going to ask you where is it. It's in my Max Media stuff. Everything else, Nestor DS. And there's the file you want to look for. You want to get that, hit open, and it puts it right there in the top. Then you go down here, browse. This is the ROM you want to insert. And right now, I got it out, out of a file right up here, Contra. Just a .nes file, just regular ROM. You can find it anywhere on the internet, just like the rest of this stuff. And what you want to do, go back here, desktop, and here it is. There's the Contra. Go to open. Once you got them both filled in, hit the insert. It's going to ask you, would you want to name it? I just name it Contra again. Dot NDS. That's what I'm using. That's what a lot of people use. I think you can also use GBA. Not sure though. But there you go. Just hit save. Successfully wrote and inserted ROM. And there you go. It's right up here. Came up in the top corner. That's as easy as it is. Then all you gotta do to get on it is go take whatever you're using, plug it in your computer, and just go for it. What I got, I got this, uh, I got the Max Media with the 8 gigabyte Extreme SanDisk. Works well. They say it'll go all the way up to 8, so I got an 8. I wasn't playing around. And you're gonna also need your little card. Now, there's uh, other things out there too. I guess they got uh, M3 and uh, R4, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That's what I use. Works well. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. Let me boot it up. There we go. Ding da ding. Get your detail. This is not Nintendo licensed stuff. Hit the games. Open that up. And I got I got a lot of games. You probably can't even see them right now. Probably all blurry. Um, let's go down and find the Contra. I already got it loaded on here. There we go. Now it's going to go. And as you can see, we got Contra on the DS. And this version has sound. Some of the games work well, some of them don't work so well. That's about all there is to that.